Welcome back to PVZ2, and welcome back to Far Future, the sixth world that's actually the fourth world. Let's continue. So we're on level nine. This is another 25 world one. 25 world one? Yeah, that'd be a long world. 25 level one, so we're only on level nine right now. Never have more than 15 plants. Very interesting power tile configuration here. We'll bring sunflower. Do you know what? I've only just leveled my laser bean up to level three. Has the cost of it gone down? I swear it was 200 before. I'm probably not going to bring Citron. Uh, that was a little bit too niche for my liking, I think. I'll bring Cherry Bomb. I just leveled that up as well. Bring that, see if we can't do something. I'm not going to bring Lightning Reed. I'll bring Hurricane, Lava Guava, and then I guess Fuzzy and Shrinking Violet. Never have more than 15 plants. Well, I think for sure I want to be having Sunflowers on the X tiles. Maybe... I don't know. What could we do for the rest? I kind of got this idea of... It's going to be a bit of an odd setup. I'm going to have to put them further back than usual. But I was thinking maybe putting fuzzies on the triangle spaces. I know it's kind of weird to have them back that far. But that way, if I kind of plant food one of them, it's basically just going to wipe the entire board. As long as they are within the two tile parameters. It's going to be a bit of a weird one. Maybe I'll just have to... I'm just going to have to really pick and choose when I do my plant foods there. What are we going to put on these back ones? It's actually a very good question. Should I just put laser beans on them just to... Play it safe. See, this is the thing. This is the trouble that I always have with this game. I always try and overcomplicate it. I always try and sex it up and just make it way fancier than it needs to be. Let's do this. There's more sun in here. Yep, you know what time is. I've got six plants left that I can use. I don't want to use up all those spaces because I want to be able to put down cherry bombs and lava guavas if I want to. What does cherry bomb do against this, actually? Destroys it instantly. Good. Uh, let's do this. You ready? Probably unnecessary, but I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to stick this here. Shrink the entire field real quick. That way the pile on mech dies a bit quicker. And we could probably leave it there. I doubt we need to put down much more than that. I'll tell you what, I lost at the hands of these things. We're just, I'm not even playing. No thanks. I know I've got fuzzies down, which does make it infinitely easier. In fact, they barely even made it within the range before they died. See, I wish there could be a thing where I put down a cherry bomb and plant food the cherry bomb, and then it becomes like a doom shroom. Maybe there's a timeline where that's actually a thing. I don't know. Shrink. I love having that power at my fingertips. Just anytime I want. I don't even use it a lot of the time. I realized that watching back through some of the more recent episodes. Like, I don't even use Shrinking Violet that much. But just to have that option, it is... I don't want to say it's an instant win button, but it kind of is. What are we getting now? It's EM Peach, isn't it? It is EM Peach. Now, I don't know if you've ever watched my videos before, but I love EM Peach. I, it's, it's my favorite. Never had any bad experiences with EM Peach. Never once. Oh, there's two Citrons. EM Peach! Disables all machines in an area. Sorry, let me correct that for you. As far as this game goes, it should actually be quite useful. That's going to really help against... Whatever the hell that thing is. What is that supposed to be? Like a sort of mechanical jacket potato. Okay, well, I'm not being lumped with any... Oh, you can only put down 15 plants this time, right? I can upgrade EM Peach. Good. It's got a 25 second recharge. Okay. Well, 24 now. I will bring it. It only costs 25. I have a boosted spike weed. Could use that. Don't see one. I, I, do you know what? I want to get magnifying grass. Since we talked about it, a lot of people have been telling me that it's actually quite good. And I want to I wanna live the experience. I want to see that for myself. I think we just bring laser bean. I think I swear by this thing now. I think, I think laser bean is the way forward. I really do. I just kind of... Like, what's the point in using anything else? What do I have right now that tops that? Does like 60 damage, piercing. He can shoot the whoop for his plant food. What more could you possibly want? Tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to put an additional sunflower to the side there. That's what I'm thinking. I know it seems like a really weird combination, but there's method to my madness. Just trust me. Thank you. Look at that. Thanks, like stonks. Honestly, I feel like I could stick down a couple more laser beans and we'll just do the rest with the spike weed because it's going to be one of them ones. Every time I hit this thing, it's just going to pull them back. So it's not like they can really go anywhere. Bonk. A bit more sun. See, I told you there was method. I don't even need EM Peach. EM Peach is just a bonus. Okay, so what's the deal with this thing? But you know what? I'm just going to stun you straight away. Put another one of those down. I presume this thing's probably going to be quite bulky. But I'll tell you what, while we're doing that, let's be having you. Boosted Spike Weed. Lava Guava. 
and he's dead. <laughs> I think the jetpack guys... Oh, did the jetpack guys come out of him after I killed him? Is that his whole gimmick? I should have done that on the other one. Whoops. It's like if I plant food EMP, peach, it... We'll never know. Go ahead. Mmm. Sending a lot of these things. Let's do that. Put them all back. See, I would have thought surely that would affect their jetpack as well. Or is that, am I just... That bit of a reach. Do you know, let me get fuzzy, put him down like there, just so I can do that. Worth. That's level 10. I'd like to save some sun for a rainy day. It can get you out of a pickle or into an EM peach. <laughs> I get it. Yeah, it's a good one. Oh, it's last stand. All right. I'm listening. 27.50 is now maybe the time. Do you know what? For old time's sake, let's do it. Oh, yeah, I got an outfit for Torchwood as well. Sorry, I saw this on the shop. I could not buy it. First outfit I've bought in this game. Honestly, if I do this, like, do I even need anything else? Or I don't think I do. Like, 27.50? That's a solid two rows of repeaters and a row of Torchwoods. Easy. I don't think they're going to be able to get past that. They give me three plant foods. Okay, repeater, 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 repeater. Repeater, 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 repeater. Torchwoods all the way across. Go ahead, have fun. I'll uh, I'll leave you lot to it. In fact, you know what? I'll go one further. Good luck. And check my email. What do we reckon? We getting through this one? Dude, it like... I can't even hit through his barrier, but it does so much damage, it just takes it down straight away. Even the pylon mechs aren't even making it like more than two spaces. You see, you can always rely on repeater torchwood. You wonder why I simp for it so much? Wouldn't you? No. I'm kind of intrigued about the tile turnip. Surely that's not just the thing that I use in this world. I swear down, they give it to me like after level 24. You can't, you can't be doing that and then trying to tell me that I can only use it in this world. No way. Uh, so the mech gargantua is back. Great. We had such a good experience with that last time. No, 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 Whoa, no, 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 no! See, this is where Citron would be quite helpful. What's the power tile setup saying? Just a PlayStation controller. All right. I could repeat a Torchwood again. And now I've got EM Peach as well, so I can hold him up. I'm going to do it again. Repeat a Torchwood. We're back in business. Cherry Bomb as well. Spring Bean. <laughs> Not Spring Bean. Booster Johnny. It's a good shout. I want to try and bring a real old school setup here. Tell you what, let me bring Twin Sunflower as well. You'll see why. You'll see why. And I'll bring Ian Peach. What I'm kind of thinking of doing is going three sunflowers here, and then I'll put Twin Sunflowers on the square spaces here, just for a bit of extra. So I've got something to plant food. And then we'll just go repeat a torch with the whole thing. And maybe Johnny as well. Okay, so that's a start. Start getting the repeaters down. Are there any good outfits you can get for Repeater? See, for me, I feel like if I buy a Captain Combustible outfit for Torchwood, I feel like Repeater should just get it as well. Like, I'm never going to use one without the other. Like, am I going to have a bacon sandwich with no ketchup? No, I'm not a psychopath. Or am I? Okay, so he actually spawns in flying disco zombies. Or I don't even know what you call them. Like, Afro heads? Okay, he just keeps on spawning more in. Let's get some Torchwoods down. He's overstayed his welcome. He's got to go. Okay, let's get this down. Are we going to be okay here? Let's do one of them ones. Yeah, you ain't surviving that. I've been rolling with this setup for long enough. I know what it's capable of. Honestly, I could probably just leave it there. I don't even think. Do you know what? I'm going to add some Johnnies. Just because otherwise I've kind of wasted the boost a little bit. No, that's not the level. I thought we were done. Okay. Fine, have it your way. Do you think we got him? I feel like that one could have gone either way. The hell is that? All-Star mech? Okay, well, I have no idea what that does. All-Star's kind of cracked in this game. I've seen him a couple of times. He basically just charges at you. Have you ever played Garden Warfare 2? No, me neither. You ever play Garden Warfare 2 and you get to the point in the flag of power or raise the flag where they send the all-stars and they send the ones in the black uniform that don't actually shoot you. They just sprint tackle you and that's it. That's kind of how all-stars work in this game. Not that they had guns in the original, but like in the original, they were just bulky. In the original, they were just like brown coats, but 
stronger. In this one, they actually full on just sprint at you and that's it. I feel like they probably insta-kill whatever they run into. We're gonna do that, that, that. Standard setup. I feel like this is, this is the new default setup. And I'm definitely putting fuzzies on these. You cannot convince me otherwise. <gasps> Who the fuck? So what is this thing's gimmick? If I drop that. Is he trying to mop it up? Hell was he doing? Mm, maybe now's the time. Okay, he's dead. So still not sure what his gimmick is. Thankfully, he doesn't drop an all-star when he dies. I was worried for a second that was going to be the gimmick. Could you imagine that? Just drops like 10 all-stars. Yeah, I'll pass. My almighty power, I shrinketh thou. Tell you what, once I get this third Endurian down, that's actually, that's a tidy little setup we got there. And of course, that's exactly where they don't send the all-star mechs. Because why would they do that? See what I can do, though. Okay, I thought they didn't die for a second. I was going to be like, one does not simply survive when one fires his laser. So this is the one that regains health over time. I'm interested in using the plant food for this one because I've seen it before. It basically creates like a barrier that goes across like every lane. Spend no more than 1500 sun. This one's going to be awkward. Spend no more than... Fi oh man, I hate these ones. It's one thing when you're like, oh, don't ever have any more than 15 plants. This is worse. Well, let me think. Okay, so... I presume I can produce as much sun as I want. I just can't spend it. I hope that's how it works because I don't want to have to kind of produce a certain amount and then get rid of all the sunflowers because I can't be asked. We'll bring Space Johnny at level two. If I use his plant food, I should be able to cover all the lanes. I need to think minimalist, so fuzzy. See, now would have been a really good time to have homing thistle. This is like the one time it would have actually been quite helpful. I don't know. Think cheap. Lightning read. 1500 sun. Let's work out a 1500 sun setup. We could. In theory, I should only need one space Johnny. I should only need two fuzzies. That's 375. If I was to add on six lightning reads, 750. 1125. Quick maths. I could just put a couple extra lightning reads down, couldn't I? Or some extra fuzzies, me. Do you know what? Stolia. Iceberg lettuce. You're up. You cost nothing, you're on the team. So I love how I brought Shrinking Violet without even realizing it. It's like an addiction. I can't not bring it. So for the moment, I'm thinking we just go... How many fuzzies do we want? I'm actually... I'm going to go for three. I'm going to go top, middle, and bottom. I know that's not really an optimal setup, but I'm, I'm trying to wing it here. Just not going to put any more sunflowers down. I'm going to leave it there. I say we put the Space Johnny here. I'll try his plant food out when I get the chance. And the rest could just be lightning reads at this point. Let me try it. Let me get the plant food and let me see what he actually does. Okay. Hit that. Yes, that puts up a barrier across the whole thing. Good. They shouldn't be able to get past that now. I'm going to need more than two lightning reads, though. Also, how long does this shield last for? Does it have a certain amount of health or does it just last for a certain amount of time? Because they're not even trying to attack it. They're just kind of just being held there. Can they just not get past it? Are they just stuck there? If they can't get past that, that is busted as fuck. The barrier is still up. How long are you going to let me keep this thing? I can't really spend anything else at this point. Actually, I'll tell you what I could do. I wanted to plant food that. God damn it. Let's hit that. Nice. Yeah, it didn't cost me anything. That's crazy. The barrier still hasn't gone down. Do they have to attack it at the center? Is that it? Because if that's the case, imagine hypothetically they had to attack it at the center to disable the barrier. I could just put a space Johnny in the middle, put up the barrier, and then just guard the middle lane with my life. We're getting some seriously good shit in this world. Laser beam, space Johnny, about to get magnifying grass. Not going to get that this episode. Had to be three levels away. Next time. Next time we're getting magnifying grass. Protect those citrons. Oh, gee. If only I had just got a plant that could protect every single lane. Oh, oh I've got such a good idea. Hold on. Watch this. Winter melon pole. Wait for it. And space Johnny. And three Pia. This shit is going to have nuts in it. You wait. My plan is thus. You see these square spaces right here? Winter melon pole on the back one. Three Peter on the middle one. Space Johnny on the front one. I know, I know. It's You've never heard anything like it. I have to put the Space Johnny there now. Put the barrier up. Good. 
Okay, so they were kind of attacking the barrier. I had to jump the gun a little bit there because I thought they were going to get through. Why weren't they attacking it on the last level then? Is it just a thing with like flying units can't attack it? I really thought this barrier was going to be like indestructible. 3 Peter, go. Let me get that winter melon pole. Come on. Once I get this winter melon pole, you are not ready. We're so close. We're so close. We're so close. There it is. Ready? Go. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Uh, yes! <laughs> it barely worked. Oh my god. Oh, we had to cut that so fine. You gotta admit, it was a pretty cool idea. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta give me a little bit of credit for that. This time, I'll start with Space Johnny, and we'll work backwards. So then we hit 3 Peter. Then we hit the Winter Melon Pole. And now we go back the other way. You got it. In hindsight, I could have done this with probably many better things than 3 Peter, but let's do it again. Damn. It weren't that bad. Come on. It weren't that bad. I've had worse ideas. And I also realized that bar wasn't set very high. Oh, we could be here a while. How's your week been? Been up too much? Nah, me neither. I'm supposed to race this weekend. Honestly, I don't know how that's going to go. I mean, like, my fitness is good at the moment. I'm in good shape and I'm running relatively quick. I've, I've been eating a lot of takeaways, though. Been eating a lot of shit. So I'm <laughs> probably carrying a few extra kilos. Oh, well, we got this one. Conveyor belt. Yep. Ah, uh, this would have been a good time to have the boosted spike weed, wouldn't it? Shame. I'm going to sit on it for a little bit and kind of wait and see what they actually want to do. Space Johnny's definitely going on that. I'm not really sure how we're going to work this. They're giving me the most random selection. I'm going to stick Space Johnny there. The spike weed, maybe? Same thing here as well. On their own, they're not quite as strong. So them getting attacked directly, they're not going to be able to hold them off for as long. Oh, Blover, that's helpful. When none of them are flying. Is that what he looks like when he's injured? The damaged hologram. No, this bucket head could be a problem if I don't get something to... That's not going to be good enough. I'm going to have to do this. I'll get an additional plant food for doing that, so it's cool. Wait for all these men to come in. Now nah, wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. They're going to send more. I know they're going to send more. Wait for them to send all the jetpacks. Or none of them. That works. Whatever floats your boat, I guess. Uh, am I going to get this guy? Maybe. Maybe. No, maybe. Oh, just about. Do that. Uh, that's a problem. Clover. Oh, I'm going to have to let the... Now you give me a plant food right as he hits the lawnmower. Piss off. Oh, it's so weird. Hold on. Power tile. Power tile. Power tile. Let's put that there. Plant food. Nice. It's not going to be too beneficial using the... Actually, do you know what? On second thoughts, go ahead. I see all them all-star mechs coming in, and you know what to do. I'll hold off just for a bit longer. Nice. Renew that. Get one of them. That's not even the final wave? Are oh, you going to be shitting me? I am out of plant food and I have no lawnmower in this lane. Okay, we've got problems. Oh, that's what he does. The fuck? No, 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 no. Sorry, mate. You're going <laughs> to... Haven't done that in a long time. And it was totally worth it. When was the last time you saw me use that power up? I like never use that anymore. That's borderline nostalgia. It's been that long. Yeah, so we got nine levels left. I'll do all of those next time. We will finish Far Future. And we're just about to get Magnifying Grass. I'm actually really looking forward to trying this thing. All is good. I'm enjoying this world. In fact, you know what? I think this could be the best world so far. I'm loving Far Future. But as I said, that's going to be it for this one. So I hope you've enjoyed it. Feel free to like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Stay tuned for the next one. See you next time.